Hey everybody! Today, we'll be learning about reverse flow overpressure. We'll be looking at some common causes of reverse flow overpressure, the consequences, and some safeguards to protect against it. Let's join the team in the field. We need to ramp up production. Let's increase the pumping capacity by running both condensate pumps together. I'll go start up the second pump. I don't want to cause a blocked flow overpressure, so I'll open the discharge of the pump before I start it. Oh no, now the upstream piping is leaking. I better close this off again and figure out what's going on. Let's go over what happened. If we look at the P and ID, we can see there are two pumps in parallel, each with isolation valves upstream and downstream. There are also check valves downstream of each of the pumps. The pumps have a common discharge line and a common inlet line. With the new project to increase our production rates, we needed to turn pump B on in addition to pump A, which we have been running continuously. When you went to start up the pump, you opened the downstream valve. I had not yet opened the valve upstream of the pump when it started to leak. Why was it leaking from the suction side? There is a spec break immediately upstream of the pump. High pressure fluid from the running pump A traveled back through the second tripped pump B to the suction side. Both pumps A and B are centrifugal pumps. Inside they have a rotating impeller that is driven by a motor. The second pump was operating at 10,000 kPaG, which pushed fluid backward past the impeller to the pump suction piping, which is only rated for around 8,000 kPaG. I thought check valves were meant to prevent reverse flow. There is one at the discharge of each pump. Check valves are directional valves that should be able to block flow in the reverse direction and are often installed downstream of pumps to improve pumping efficiency. Unfortunately, they can leak or become stuck open. Even if the majority of flow is prevented from moving backwards through them, they can still allow pressure to equalize. It is difficult to ensure a check valve will hold a tight seal without regular testing and maintenance. They can be a hidden failure, which is why we don't take credit for a single check valve in a HAZOP. So the pressure from the running pump reached the suction of the non-running pump where there is lower rated piping. Why didn't the flange rupture? Depending on how much greater the operating pressure is compared to the rated pressure, we may not get a full rupture. The material may just stretch until the pressure is relieved, resulting in a leak instead. What can be done to avoid the reverse flow over pressure next time? You need to open the suction valve before you open the discharge valve. Fluid upstream of the pump operates at a pressure below 8,000 kPaG. So opening the upstream valve first will not lead to any overpressure. Then you can open the discharge and start the pump. The design configuration at these pumps isn't ideal. In my experience, the loads of high spec break at a pump should be upstream of the pump isolation. What about the PSV? I see one at the pump. The PSV at these pumps relieves from discharge to suction and is designed to recycle flow when the pump is on. It would not be an effective safeguard to prevent an overpressure from happening in a reverse flow scenario. Okay, that makes sense. Can we start the second pump now? We need to check the integrity of the gasket first. Why don't you follow me for a while? We must be cognizant of reverse flow when we work with any system with connecting flow paths. Check valves are often added where reverse flow is possible at the convergence of flow paths like injection points. If there is a spec break from low to high pressure, we need to determine if reverse flow is credible, assuming check valves as a latent failure, and ensure there are safeguards in place to protect against overpressure. Reverse flow overpressure is possible if the following are true. First, there is a low pressure to high pressure spec break. Next. There's a pressure source downstream of the spec break capable of producing pressures above the upstream rated limit. And finally, if flow and pressure are capable of traveling backwards, events like a pump being down or a flow path being blocked will stop driving flow in the forward direction.